Show you them properly in a second. Oh, that's cute. Hello again, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name's Emily and I make lots of art related videos it's a good time so stick around maybe um, check out my other videos and subscribe if you like what you see and if you've been here quite a lot uh, thanks for popping along and watching another video right as you can see my prints arrived very exciting in two videos ago now I was working on all these prints getting them ready to be sent off and doing some of the art for them and here they are in the flesh I'm very excited about these prints coming I'm really happy with how these turned out like usually with, with a shop update occasionally there'll be a print that where the colors aren't quite what I was hoping for or maybe it's a little bit darker than I wanted but these are absolutely they're all bang on they look exactly how I want them to look and I'm really happy with them yeah so my shop update I was hoping that the shop would be updated by now but unfortunately I'm still waiting for stickers to arrive um, they will, yeah they're taking their time and I'm going on holiday in one day um, yeah I'm going on holiday I think the day after this video will be posted so I'm gonna be off for a week but as soon as I get back from my holiday hopefully my stickers will have arrived by then and I can get going with the shop update because I am just very excited and just dying to get this shop update done because I feel like this is the best one I've ever done just all the prints I love also doing stickers for the first time which I've never done before so it's all very exciting I'm gonna throw out a date right now but this could change but at the moment I'm hoping to get it done the shop updated on the 10th of June but we will see it won't hopefully won't be any later than the 10th of June but I might do it a little bit earlier than the 10th of June but it'll be around that time if you want to keep updated my Instagram will have all the information on it uh, which is linked in the description and I'll also probably post another video by then explaining it all um, but yeah in this video as you can see I'm doing a bit of art here there's a mix of art there's a mix of um, shop prep getting all my thank you notes ready and yeah all the general things you need to do to get your shop ready for an update um, do a little bit more art and oh I also have a little package which I unbox as well which is exciting yeah so let's go on in this video this is a little painting I did of my garden I actually started it in my last video for I was doing like a Skillshare sponsorship so I was checking out one of their classes and this is what I came up with from one of the Skillshare classes I really like it actually it's my garden but it's very um very very stylized my garden doesn't actually look like this but I took all my favorite plants from my garden and kind of mashed them together I painted all this in gouache it was nice to get back to painting because I feel like for the past month or so I've all I've been doing really is collaging and I've done a little bit of painting here and there but I've just been absolute collage mad recently so it was nice to get back into painting and just remind people that I, I actually still do other things uh, just because my Instagram was getting very collage heavy so I was just like oh I need to post something that isn't collage just to remind people that I, I don't do only collage even though I do really love collage I, I want to make sure I still you know paint every now and then and I really enjoy it actually I want to get more I want to get better at painting in gouache and I want to do more gouache paintings it's just collage is so fun I do like I do think painting is fun but collage is a lot less stressful because you don't really have to commit to anything you can just rip off as many pieces of paper as you want before you stick it down and even when you do stick it down you can still peel it up if you're not happy with it anyway i digress here's the painting i like it
when I ordered my prints, I noticed on the website I was ordering them from to buy an A5, well, to buy a square print, it was more expensive than like the A5, A4 version of it. So I thought, right, I don't want to pay that much extra for what essentially is a smaller print. So I just ordered them all on the A4, the A5 five size paper and I decided to trim them all down by hand. Yes, it took a long time, especially because I don't have a guillotine so I was cutting them all out by hand. But I mean, I don't want to brag or anything, but I, I feel like I can cut a very straight line. So if you need anyone to cut a straight line, I'm, I'm the person to do it. Yeah, so I trimmed all those down, took me, you know, a, an hour or so, but I think it was worth it because it had, meant I didn't have to pay the extra. Anyway, then next up on the list to do was to get my thank you notes done. Here I'm actually at uni, here I went down on the train, had a nice day in the city and then went and collected my thank you notes. I had quite a bit of money on my print account at uni so I thought oh I could probably you know use that for my shops so I designed these little thank you notes. I just did a little collage in my sketchbook with these leaves and a little border and then I wrote the little thank you note in the middle and then I left the space at the top because I'm going to write the like the person's name who orders it just so it still has like that personal touch. Here I am just cutting them all up just because um, at the moment well, like in the past what I've done is, is the thank you notes I all make by hand and they're a little bit I mean it's nice because it's like a personal touch and I try to decorate each one I, I draw a flower design and obviously because I am drawing every individual one it has to be a really simple design and I was kind of doing it very quickly so they didn't always look the best but yeah this is just a much better way of doing it because first off you get a nice piece of art with every order and it saves me the hassle of having to make them which to be honest I really didn't enjoy doing because it was just so tedious especially when you ran out in the middle of packing orders like to have to stop and cut a piece of the paper and get your pens out to draw the designs anyway I cut out some different size options some with a, a smaller crop for the smaller bags yeah really happy with these I can't wait to start packing orders with them because I just think they look so cute <laughs> Okay, so this came in the post today and I'm really excited. It's from Stationery Pal, obviously, and they're a company who do stationery. <laughs> uh, yeah, they did send me this stuff for free, but all my opinions on it are my own and I'm just excited to do a little haul and show you what I got because I've got a few arty bits and bobs that I'm really excited to try out. So let's see what I got. Oh, <laughs> they asked me what I wanted, so I kind of sent them a list of things I liked, but this was not on the list, so this is a surprise. <laughs> Whenever I see a teddy in a shop, I just have to go, hiya, hiya. <laughs> oh, a little heart. <laughs> it's a bit of a stretch. But <laughs> Aha, I got so much washi tape because for my shop update, I go through a lot of tape. So I thought I'd stock up on these. Oh, look how cute they are. I don't to show you how much washi tape I have. So I have these on here. I also have these in here and I also have some in a pencil case but you know what you can just never have enough washi tape and oh I thought this would, would keep me organized I thought it was cute grow what I want to do every day um, right this is this is what I'm really excited for these Tombow pens they're the Tombow er, 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 Tombow brush pens whatever they're called there's my selection of colors I thought I'd get a nice mix of Ugh, all sorts. <laughs> so I'm excited to do a little summit with them. Oh, this is cute. I got a pencil case, but it's no ordinary pencil case. Well, first off, the colours are just a bit of me. Um, and then it like expands. I'm not quite sure how it works. So, oh yeah. So if you undo that zip, then it's like it doubles in size. I got a tote bag. I'm a bit addicted to tote bags as well as washi tapes. I have way too many, but I keep getting tote bags. <laughs> I, I like this one because it has like buttons, and I, I got one very similar to this for my boyfriend for his birthday and I was jealous and I wanted my own so when I saw this on the website I was like yep getting that <laughs> it's a sharpener but it looks like a bear somebody get this girl a pencil there's one in this pot which is currently holding the phone up <laughs> I mean yeah <laughs> it's a sharpener <laughs> yeah I don't know what I was expecting but it's a sharpener and it looks like a bear so uh extra points for cuteness oh no I'm making a mess my desk is so messy, I'm in the middle of doing an oil painting, so there's just marks all over my desk. Oh, what a state. Okay, give me a second. Oh, I got one of these. I've seen people use them, and I always thought, oh, they look pretty cool. So I thought I'd, I'd test them out. Uh, so, I think you just, where's the end? Oh, cool. Yeah, so it's like, so it's just, it rips it. So you can just do that. 
thought these would come in handy for organising shop stuff, but now I've seen the size of them, maybe not. <laughs> They're just a little unfoldable box. I've seen these everywhere, like these are really popular at the moment. So I thought I'd jump on the bandwagon and get some. How cute! I got some different colours. I got a cream and a pink. You know what I could put in them? Ah, oh, beautiful. My thank you notes can go in here. Lovely. Very nice. Happy with that. Uh, yeah, that's everything I got. I'll, I'll give you a quick overview of everything now. So this is all from Stationery Pal. Uh, thank you very much for sending me all this stuff. Um, I always feel a bit cheeky when people send me free stuff, but I don't know. I'll, I'll take the offer. <laughs> Wait, I've not actually properly looked inside this pencil case. I feel like it's, it has flaps on the inside. Is this a flap? Oh, look, you get a flap there. And... Oh! Stunning! It has a flap here, and it has little little squibbly bobs there, and another flap. Could this be my new favourite pencil case? Oh, potentially. I will link them in the description. Um, Stationery Pal, thank you very much. Hello! I feel like I'm at a little bit loose end today. I'm not quite sure what to do. I'm just doing a lot of waiting at the moment. To be honest, just a bunch of waiting. I've got stickers on the way. If you remember in my last video, no, it wasn't my last video, it's two videos ago now. I was I was getting these stickers ready because I was going to get them made by um, just like the print room in uni. It looks like this. Uh, I thought they were dead cute and I was like dead excited about them. I put one of these on the back of my phone to, you know, test the general wear and tear. And then after about like two weeks, I could just like scratch the design off. I guess the, like right now I can scratch it and nothing happens. But I guess after it just being generally touched quite a lot, the, the protective sort of film had worn off and I could just scratch the design off and I was like, oh, don't really want to sell them anymore. Um, yeah. And I got these in the post, which are from an actual company called Awesome Merch. And I was comparing the two and I'm like, oh yeah, these ones are a lot nicer. They're just a lot thicker and the colours are much brighter. And these ones didn't really seem that great anymore. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is give these all away as freebies. Um, every order gets one of these little guys. It's a little, my logo. Um, and then just for however long they last, I'll give these uh, stickers out as freebies. They look like... And then I've got some more stickers on the way that I ordered from this company. Uh, but they're just taking quite a while to come. Because I know they've been made, I just don't know if they've been posted. So I'm just waiting for stickers to come. Because that's like the last thing I'm waiting for now. I've got this guy as well. I've got two of these. Um, so I've got four more coming. Um, but stickers are just so expensive. And you can't really sell them for that much. So like the profit margins on stickers are much smaller than prints. And they're just, yeah, they're so expensive. This shop update is the most money I have spent on... Well, pretty much anything in my whole life. It's a big, big old lot of money that I've spent on this. And it's quite scary, but you just got to keep thinking that it's an investment and I will eventually make a profit. Your fingers crossed. Uh, yeah, it's quite scary how much money I've spent, but I'll make it back <laughs> eventually. Um, I also want to take all the pictures for the listings, but again, I can't do that because... It's just so great and wet outside and I like to take pictures in the garden in front of the flowers. Uh, but yeah, it's just been so grey. And apparently it's going to be like grey all week as well, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I've also got some uh, oil portraits that I've been working on for a commission. I'll give you a little sneak peek. Um, yeah, I've got two of them which I'm working on, but I can't do much on them until I get an email back from the guy I'm doing them for. So I think today... Um, 
might do some art. <laughs> That's all I can really do, to be honest. The stickers I was talking about in that little segment just then still haven't arrived. They're taking their time. I think I mentioned it at the start of the video, but yes, the stickers still haven't come and that's the only thing I'm waiting for now for this shop update. So as soon as they come, shop update will be happening. Oh, I also finished those portraits I was talking about as well, which I showed for a very brief second. If you want to see the portraits properly and the finished things, I will post them on my Instagram. Also, I've been showing like updates on my story as well, which you might have seen. It was really nice doing a bit of oil painting. I haven't painted a portrait since I was on, um, if you don't know, I was on Portrait Artist, uh, oh, I was on Portrait Artist of the Year, the last series that was out, and ever since that program finished, I haven't touched a single bit of oil paint since, so it was nice to get back into that. I want to try and start doing more people portraits as commissions. Uh, my goal is to maybe do one a month. Um, obviously not once uni starts, as soon as uni starts I can wave goodbye to all personal projects but whilst it's summer I'm taking advantage of all the time and trying to fill it full of as much personal art as possible because I know as soon as uni starts that's it, out the window, gone. <laughs> Here I am doing another gouache painting. I've got this idea in my head of, so I'll picture this, it's an illustration all done in gouache of loads of little insects, so like bees and caterpillars and butterflies and ladybirds um, what I, I class as the cute insects, <laughs> you know, none of your spiders and your flies, I'm, I want the nice insects, although my spiders are quite nice because they get rid of flies, anyway, uh, like loads of jobs in amongst flowers, so like this really busy scene with just loads going on and all, all these insects doing little jobs and interacting with each other, so this is kind of a little test piece for that, figuring out what style I want to do, I've still got a lot to figure out, because um, right now I only really know like I'm trying to figure out how to stylize insects in a fun way which isn't just the generic way of drawing them so I did a bunch of sketches of bees and this is what I came up with I do like the way the bees turned out but I'm not crazy about the way I um, painted them and I feel like I could paint them in a more interesting way but I really like the flowers so that's a step in the right direction I'm just trying to figure out how I want to stylize my work because yeah I'm finding myself more drawn to a much more simple style than I used to draw like just simple shapes but making it interesting with the texture of the paint inside is that's the sort of style I'm interested in at the moment uh, but obviously style constantly changes so I might be into this right now but next year I could be into a completely different way of painting that's just how it goes but yeah this is just a little test piece for that I don't know when I'm going to get around to that illustration because it's going to be a big job Job. I'm talking thumbnails, uh, it's going to take me like a day just to sketch it out and to figure out all the colours but it's something which is definitely on the to-do list along with a very long list of other things I want to do. Ah, there's just so much I want to do and jam into this summer, uh, but it's exciting. Anyway, oh yeah, one of those things I want to do is that video I keep talking about, which is how I collage. I get a lot of questions about how I collage or people wanted to see the process. I, I did say it would be the next video I post, and it's not. It's been this video instead, but I, I actually have started making it. I filmed the entire process of me making all my textures, and I was going to try and make it for this video, but realistically it just wasn't possible in the time so unfortunately it is getting pushed back again but don't worry it is coming and I'm sorry if you're waiting for it and it keeps getting pushed back sorry about that it, I just want it to be really good and I want to make sure I have enough time to make what I want to make um, and to make it as informative and useful as I want it to be so it is coming just give me time I'm hoping timeline will be next video will be about the shop update and actually showing me packing orders and then the video after that will be the collage video fingers crossed it probably most likely will be I can't see anything else getting in the way of it
Okay, exciting times. The sun has come out. Hey, Dad. Do you want to say hi? Hello. The sun has come out. So I'm going to take this opportunity to take pictures as quick as I can because it keeps going behind clouds. Let's get taking pictures. Also, there's lots of solar panels in my garden at the moment. Here are just a few of the pictures I've managed to get around to editing. I've still got a lot more to do, but this is all I've managed for now. I actually ended up taking quite a lot of the pictures in the field at the end of my street, which is the ones with all the yellow flowers, because I just thought, oh, that's, that's a lovely little backdrop, that. I didn't want to do it for all of them, because I didn't want it to get too repetitive, but I think it's nice for just a few. Anyway, that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you very much for making it all the way to the end. Um, like I said before, I predict 10th of June is when the shop update will be, but of course I keep you updated on my Instagram and if you favourite my Etsy shop, I'm pretty sure you'll get a notification as well when I update it. Uh, but yeah, that is everything. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.